and, and the other part of that referendum is uh, the county council, county council sure. how it's going to be sure. divided up. And it sure. would be, right now it's currently four. Four districts. And three at large. Three at large, correct. And it would become just nine single districts. Correct. Um, yeah. One of the things that I hear about is loss of representation. Sure. Is what some feel. How, how do you feel about that? Well, currently I am a district councilman. I represent the 4th District. That district is made up of about 89,000 people, more or less. Each of the four districts are as close to the same size and population as possible. The county council is charged with creating the districts. Um, but there are a couple things uh, that you have to, uh, when you, State law requires that when county council creates districts, they keep the population as close as possible to being equal, and um, uh, they do not split precincts. So, when the last uh, census was taken, county council had to make some adjustments. Uh, I believe, I may have this wrong, but I think district one needed to have a few more people. Uh, I don't remember how many thousand, but it had, it had to have a few thousand more people. My District 4 had to go down in size slightly. Uh, district 3, I believe, had to go down slightly. And District 2, I believe, was pretty much right uh, where it needed to be. So. Remember, we can't split precincts. So um, it was pretty difficult and to still have four districts and, and make it somewhat logical. So in the down, I'm gonna say in the downtown area or the center of the four districts where they meet, some precincts were shuffled uh, into District 1 to get that population more even to the other three districts. That's how that was done. Under this nine council uh, referendum, nothing in state law says that there has to be a certain shape. They don't have to be pie shaped, they don't have to be square, they don't have to be rectangular, uh, they don't even have to follow roads. They don't even have to make sense. They don't even have to make sense, that is correct. <laughs> and so the naysayers are saying, well, we don't know what the districts are going to be. Well, it doesn't matter what the districts are going to be because they have to be equal, as close as possible in population, and you cannot split a precinct. So, county council would, if this referendum passes, county council would again be the one who would create the districts. Um, I can tell you that New Haven would not be a single district. New Haven's not big enough. Um, I can tell you that, that uh, a Boyd Township would not be a single district. It's too big. Wayne Township would not be a single district. It's too big. So some of those concerns about uh, about areas that may have a special interest, that isn't going to happen. It, if this referendum passes, those special interest areas or groups would not be a single district. It just can't happen that way. So some of, some of the naysayers are saying, well, Currently, we have a district council person and we have three at large that we vote for. That's, that's a total of four that we vote for. Then we vote for all commissioners. Well, I've been at many meetings about this topic and uh, the question has been asked uh, not, to, not in the format of being uh, embarrassing anybody, but can you name all your county council people? You know, you live over here at street so-and-so, and okay, Larry Brown is your district councilman. Who are your at-large councilmen? 
Well, I don't know. A lot of people don't have a clue who their elected officials are. Um, as I see it, I currently represent about 89,000 people. Under the nine districts, it would drop down to about 39,000, more or less, uh, maybe even a little less than that. And so I see that as a good thing. I think it'll be better representation rather than less representation.